What's up, you damn gorgeous and beautiful, beautiful gamers? So welcome back to Role Playing Games. This is Muriel Carter in the internet where we like to discuss about RPGs. If you like the content, if you like these conversations with Muriel James, I would very much like to invite you to hit that like button because it really helps me. Like you have no idea. And also, most of the people that watches my channel, my content, are in fact not subscribed to the channel. What are you waiting for? My mama says that I'm a nice dude. The people that hangs around here in the channel, they, they seem to like me. I'm a nice dude. That being said, let's move on to the build. This is a cosplay build. Let's start talking about the level first. 125. Remember that meta has not been established yet in Elden Ring. For the new players, meta is essentially the ideal PvP level for, for the builds so that you can be summoned on PvP but also impacts co-op as well. Because the more you level up, the less likely you're going to be summoning, uh, <laughs> the less likely you're going to be summoned. That said, soft cap of the main stats, uh, damaging stats, it's an 80. I have them too low for this build. But I am playing it safe, we still haven't established what the meta for the PvP duels will be. And since we haven't established that yet, I am playing it safe by playing a 125 endgame build. This is more than enough to manage to, to finish the game to fight against the final bosses. And it's a well-rounded level for you to, to make a build. If the meta goes higher, then you could very well play some points into the different stats that we have right here, but right now I'm playing it safe. That being said, let's actually move on to the stats. On bigger, we have 40, that's more than enough to be able to withstand enemies' attacks, mind. Uh, we have 20, 25, more than enough to be able to cast the spells that we will be casting Endurance. That is actually 20, but we are getting 5 extra points, we'll talk about that later, but it's essentially 20, and that's more than enough for you to be able to wear the armor, gear, stuff like that that we have right there with our character. Do bear in mind that it's also going to increase your stamina bar, which is pretty damn nice. Strength, that is a side effect from the, from the talisman. Dexterity, we ideally want to have that on 50 for this build. We have 45 for the talisman, but we actually have 50, 55 because of the flasks that we are using. Fate, we have 50 on fate. Like I said, if meta changes, you can actually change all of these little stats that I have right here. But since that has not been established yet, then we might as well just leave it at that. That being said, let's move over to the equipment. You can start this character as a samurai and you will have dual katanas. I had a friend of mine that <laughs> he gave me his katana, he was he wasn't able, he wasn't going to be to be using it. But if you don't have a katana, uh, you actually just need one for this specific build and you will find it here at the Dead Touch Catacombs. The Grave Stoles, the Gravel Stone Seal. Ideally, what we're going to be using for this build is going to be one specific lightning spell incantation and that is for purposes of cosplay cosplay purposes it's a very very strong spell but it's just one maybe you can get by by using another one but i would highly recommend if you want to stay true to the <laughs> to the actual cosplay just well uh one specific spell that i am going to show you later guys what it is but uh, i cannot show you where this it's it's on uh on the capital, on the east rampart, a knight is going to have it. I cannot show you because something happened to my world and I cannot, uh, I do not want to spoil you guys what happened in my world. But uh, moving on to the armor, we have Crimson Hood. You need Roderica to actually, uh, she is the girl that's right down here at Storm Hill Shack. Uh, you actually, as you progress in the story, you'll, you're going to find her. But uh, once you move on to the uh, Table of Lost Grace, you can go back to the place where you got her quest item, and the hood is going to be there. In the very same place that you got the quest item for her to move over to the uh, Table of Lost Grace. That being said, the equipment, Haslo's Armor. This one, you will get it from a series of quests up here on the uh, um, Volcano Manor. You're 
It's actually fairly easy to obtain, it's actually fairly easy to follow the quest lane. All you have to do is just kill a bunch of people, so then you're going to eventually get the armor. In here, since we have so many, so much weight, I'm actually using scale gauntlets as well and scale griefs. They, they give me a little bit more poise. And that little bit more poise that they are giving, it's, it's quite nice to have some more poise, some more defense as well. And uh, you're actually going to get this stuff by doing the very same quest. Just head over to Volcano, Volcano Mana, and then you're, you're you're going to find some people in there. They're they're very merry people. I actually like those guys. <laughs> those guys quite a lot. There there seem to be funny people. There seem to be funny folk, and they seem nice. I mean, I like those guys, but uh, you'll have to kill a bunch of them. Anyways, let's move on with the talismans. Two fingers heirloom. You'll find it. Uh, you'll find this one on Lyurnia of the Lakes, right here, over at the uh, Purified Ruins. Alright? Then we have Radagon's Sword Seal. I will actually be having a clip to where to get this thing, right here in the screen. Remember, in, in this place that I, you see me walking right now, there's going to be a bunch of enemies. Just do not let them gangbang you and get over to the stairs. Once you get over to those stairs, you will drop down to a specific ledge. And in that specific ledge, there's going to be some annoying ass rats. But uh, they shouldn't actually give you that much of a trouble. You should be able to kill them fairly easily. If you follow this specific path that I am showing you guys, this is where you will find the seal. This item, it's what's increasing our uh, bigger endurance, strength and dexterity by 10 points. We're actually catching a little bit more damage, but I believe that uh, we can compensate that for the extra fight bigger and the extra heavier gear that we can use. Old Lord's Talisman. We're actually going to be casting spells onto this. We're actually going to be casting some buffs onto this build. You will find that thing right here. I show you already guys in my previous videos, but once you get to the Dragon Temple rooftop, your actual route is going to take you through here. What you want to do is that once you get to this tower, drop down, walk all this way down here and it'll help you to go through this path. Like I said, I do not want to spoil you guys, so that is why I am not actually showing you footage like I did with Radagon Soul Seal. It's not... Radagon Soul Seal is not actually that much of a spoiler area, but that other one, that's an, that's an endgame one. We have Fateful Scambest Talisman as well to raise the power of our incantations. You should very much like to have the... Um, the one that you're going to start in a quest right here. So just find for the for the quest. Go <laughs> watch a video on YouTube to how to complete this quest because it's actually rather a, a long quest, but it's going to increase our incantation. So it's always nice to increase all of those little things. If you don't actually want to go through the quest, uh, you're going to find the one that I am using right now in here in Celia Crystal Tunnel. Um, what else do we have? Yes, our flasks of wondrous physics. Let me change this thing a little bit. I had a different one place in there. I actually do not remember why did I have a different one place in there. But uh, essentially what we want to have in here... Oh, I remember why. You see, you can, you can be very versatile in this specific place. But I should very much like to have this one like this. When you drink this thing, it's going to increase your dexterity by 10 points, which means that we now have 45. We should. Did I place it correctly? Did I place it how it should be? No, I did not. Because I am dumb like that. Could you please forgive me, sir? Um, I'm sorry about that. Let me just correct that. Very, very. Uh, dexterity, dexterity. There we go. Now, when I drink this thing, I should have 55 dexterity. For the dexterity one, you're going to have to go to Lyurnia over here, up here, and then you head over to the uh, Boil Prawn Shack, and then you go down here, and that's where you're going to find it. For the electric one, you're going to find a little boss in here on the minor air tree right here. There's going to be a little boss, it's not actually that hot, and it's going to increase your damage of this big bad boy. Oh, um, it's so satisfying to drop that thing. <laughs> spells. The spells that we want for this build is Golden Bow. You're going to find Golden Bow up here. Um, on Corpse Stench Shack. Lightning Strike. 
a knight patrolling this area is going to have it. And the one that looks like a Sith, kind of a Sith, it's going to be one in, on one of the rivers right here. Siofra? Uh, was it here? I believe it actually was here. Yeah. And the Dragon Skin Soldier of Noxtella. He's actually quite of a tough boss fight if you're getting in the uh, LD level. But later stages of the game, it shouldn't be that much of a problem. You should be able to enter that place through here on Ainsel River, River Well. So, that said, remember that this is a cosplay build. And this is a cosplay build because we are a Lord Sith. This is our Lightning Blade, a saber, our lightsaber. And then we have this one that oh limited power I, i'm actually quite bad at <laughs> impressions and but it's a nice build dude i mean who doesn't actually wants to be a sith a lord sith wandering around fighting around and let me show you real fast how really powerful this thing like always i do not actually want to spoil you guys the later areas of the game and i'm going to fighting uh, i'm going to be fighting fairly low level enemies in here but you will get the idea of how actually good this is but before though i actually forgot to mention where to get the most important part of this build which is blood flame blade you're going to get blood flame blade up here on the um, should be around here on rose church there's going to be a little crab in here, you're gonna fight him, you're gonna kill him, murder him brutally, violently, I should better say, and then she's going to give you the Blood Flame Blade, which is going to allow you to use your lightsaber. And it's going to last quite a, quite a while because you have the old Lord's Talisman. And uh, like I said, these are very fairly easy enemies, but oh boy, please tell me that it's not got them satisfying to say UNLIMITED POWER! <laughs> and kill all of those guys right there. And do bear in mind that the katana on itself already has a nice blood build. So, this spell that we have right here, take a look at my damage. My damage is right now 500. When I place my buff to the weapon, it, it scales to 100 damage. But also, that is going to keep stacking the bleed effect on my enemies as I attack them. And oh boy, is the unlimited power so goddamn satisfying to be throwing against the enemies. Dude, you are a lord, Sid. Take a look at this. This is goddamn... Oh, please, uh, you, you ruined the moment. I was so pumped up and you ruined the moment. But take a look at this. Take a look at that. Oh, please, good lord in heavens. Unlimited power. It is indeed unlimited power, and do remember that when you drink this thing, it's also going to increase your, your dexterity damage. You see right there that we have some extra little points, but it's actually also going to increase our potential damage for lightning. Remember that you are a Lord Sith, and you, you want to be throwing spells, you want to be throwing electricity out of your fingerprints. That being said, I hope that you guys find this video useful, I hope that you guys fi find useful the build, and uh, remember to subscribe and like the video before you close the door, and remember that if no one has told you today that you're a gorgeous and beautiful person, that you little cunt, uh, no, no, not you, you're beautiful, alright? You're a beautiful, beautiful person. Y you get what I mean. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a beautiful, beautiful day, and I'll be seeing you guys. Stay safe out there. I'll be seeing you guys later. Have a beautiful day, and bye-bye.